You know, this is one of our most transformational DIY home improvement projects we've ever done. And of course, we're going to share it with you in this video so that you can DIY too. Home improvement. With love. We want to thank our entire DIY PC family and those of you who are watching for the very first time. This DIY project took our dull beige fiberglass tub to bright and spa-like as part of our small bathroom makeover. So today we are going to repair our tub uh, with a little patch before we paint it. Yep, we're going to use this uh, tub and shower repair kit. And then we're going to add a new, what's this called? It's a shower head. We're just going to have a dual shower head for our children. Um, we have to do this before we paint. It's suggested that you do the hardware first and then tape it up because you'll need so much time for the tub to cure and you don't want to accidentally drop something on it or scrape it or anything. So, and the reason she's saying that is because we're actually going to repaint uh, the fiberglass. So you'll see that. Make sure you stay to the end to see the pros and cons of using marine paint. Okay, so this part is going to be sped up. We have already cleaned the tub and installed our new fixtures. We also tied bags around the fixtures and taped them off to prevent water from leaking. This was our first time using this repair kit and it was pretty easy to use. A previous pipe repair from a blowtorch behind the wall damaged our fiberglass tub. We found that out when a master plumber came to repair our pipes during our bathroom renovation. Our damage was pretty large and we were using the repair putty almost like plaster. Sanding by hand was not working. So we used our electric mouse sander to very carefully smooth out the cured putty. Next, we scraped and sanded off residue from soap scum, paint, caulk, and any other buildup on the surround surface. It's always a good idea to wear personal protective equipment when sanding fiberglass. Prepping the surface is extremely critical for good adhesion. Without sanding, the primer and paint won't stick to the fiberglass. I was really surprised at how long it took for this important step of the refinishing process. Because we were doing a total bathroom renovation at the same time, we used the cordless vacuum to clean the initial drywall and fiberglass dust particles. It was almost like you were detailing a car. You can find links for this DIY in the description below. Then we had to clean the tub two more times with a heavy duty TSP cleaner to thoroughly remove any oils and remaining residue. Cleaning the entire tub and shower surround gave us a sense of its design features and how much area we would need to prime. We also noticed several spots where the fiberglass chipped, as well as discoloration that happened over the years. Our tub was definitely overdue for a makeover. Yes, we wanted it to look like the new shiny fiberglass tub that inspired us at our local home improvement store. Okay, so this is what we were gonna use, this tub sink and tile refinishing kit, and it had great reviews. 
but our tub is a whole fiberglass tub surround. It's not just a ceramic or porcelain tub on the bottom with the tile on the top. So that's why we're going to try the marine boat paint. So we found the marine paint that I was talking about. It tells you about what you can do. So we don't have a boat, but we have a bathtub that's fiberglass. Look, they have it in different colors, red, green, white. Oh, that's the primer. Now the real DIY begins. We picked up a respirator to protect us from the very strong fumes. One thing we noticed was that the primer was very thick and hard to stir. Yeah, I could feel the thick texture. I had to keep stirring it until it had a smooth consistency and the color turned from beige to white. I wanted to practice using the foam roller with this product, so I tested out a small section in the corner to see how the primer would adhere to the fiberglass. It was smooth and easy to apply. Once we got the hang of it, we started from the top right of the shower and worked towards our left. Then we moved down to the inside of the tub and worked towards the outside of the tub. The fumes were so strong, we stopped recording so that we could quickly finish the primer coat. We then touched up a few spots using one of our favorite little brushes. We allowed the primer coat to cure for at least two days. Now it was time for the top coat. One thing we liked about these two products was that we only needed to give it a good stir. There was no mixing with an activator or anything like that, so we could easily seal up the can and save it for later. The first thing we noticed was the lighter consistency of this top coat paint. At first we created a lot of streaks, so we had to remember to keep the roller wet with paint. Tiny bubbles were created when we applied it with the foam roller. But the bubbles disappeared as it dried and we could see how the paint and primer were reacting together. We rolled on the top coat with smooth vertical strokes. We used a brush for the curves and flat edges of the tub. After we let the top coat cure for at least five days, we were excited to see its shiny and reflective finish on our fiberglass tub. I loved how this product covered up our repair areas and gave it a fresh new look for our small bathroom makeover. We double checked that the top coat was completely cured before adding the waterproof molding. Our journey to refinish our bathtub and shower fiberglass around was definitely worth it. We feel like we have a new spa
This DIY made our bathtub better than before. Here are some pros and cons to using marine paint. And if you'd like to see more videos like these, please, please subscribe, subscribe to our, our channel. channel. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell. DIY Power Couple YouTube channel is your source to help you unleash your inner DIY power.